Hey guys, so I am videoing in the bathroom because this room is super dark and there's no lights anywhere. So this is the brightest spot to get a video in. Okay, so I just got to LA. Um, I woke up at three o'clock this morning and I got here around 12. So I just been off for like many hours going from Chicago, from Philly to Chicago, then Chicago to LA. So it's been like a long flight, but I did sleep through a good amount of it. Um, I just wanted to go over like macros and what I did this morning and um, training and stuff like that. So I start did I got up at three, but I didn't eat my meal until about eight o'clock because I just really wasn't that hungry and uh, I had some chicken and oatmeal and then um, I waited until like eleven o'clock and I had my second meal. I had chicken and asparagus and two rice cakes. So, but and I want to talk to you guys about um, the plane. So I water load on the plane. I was just like chugging, chugging, chugging water, because when you go on a plane, like you're you're more prone to get bloated. You're in you're not as regular with your intestines wise, digestion wise. So it's like really really good to um, drink a lot, a lot of water as much as you can. And I really felt like that helped me when I got off the plane. Um, I'm just gonna be like blunt about this. I am a very regular person when it comes to like regular bowel movements. I go like five times a day and I am crazy about that. So when I did get off the plane, I was able to go to the bathroom. I, because of all the water, I just, I think it's so important to pay attention to that because that's how you know that your your intestines are working well, your body's digesting the food right, you're getting enough fiber, you're getting enough vegetables, like your your um, diet is balanced and you're filled with enough nutrition. When you are regular, um, you don't build up like extra bacteria in your colon, your, your, the food moves through your body very fairly quickly and you're able to absorb the nutrients and get rid of what it does need fairly quickly. So nothing really builds up inside you. And I was regular all throughout prep. Um, I was regular as soon as I got off the plane because I usually have a lot of issues um, when I got off the plane, but this time with the water, it really did help. Um, but anyways, but all throughout prep. So I just think that's so important to like keep in mind. I know it's like kind of weird to say, but I just think it's like a major, major thing. Health-wise, too, because everything derives from the colon. Cancers, sicknesses, everything derives from the colon. So as long as your colon's healthy, you're healthy. All right, so then I just ate my meal three. I had some potatoes and tilapia and some asparagus. I was really, really fast packing all my food. So I just really did chicken, tilapia, asparagus, and um, steak were the three different proteins. And I just made asparagus just to make it simple. And then I either have the rice cakes or the potatoes. Um, I do do macros, like so. I'm hitting 125 grams of carbs today, and but at this point of prep, I just want to keep it nice and clean, nice and easy for my body um, to digest, and it's just fairly, fairly basic. So I'm gonna be going to the gym now. I'm gonna do my cardio and training together. Usually I break up the cardio, but. Again, didn't have time this morning, so I'm doing it now. Um, I'm doing shoulders and arms. Yesterday I did shoulders, and I literally couldn't move my arms like above my head. They're just starting to feel like better, and that's really rare. Like during peak week, because I'm not lifting heavy, just doing like really, really, really high rep of everything. So just burning out the muscle as like much as I can with my arms. So I'm gonna do that again today. That'll be the last day for weightlifting, and I'll hit my cardio. And depending on how I look tomorrow morning, maybe I'll do 20 minutes of low intensity cardio tomorrow morning, but planning on just uh, stopping with the working out today, but we'll play it by ear. So I'll show you guys like how I look tomorrow morning and um, try to get like an idea of like how the, how I've reacted to the carbs and see how much I'm going to go up carb wise. So I did 125 today. Probably gonna go to 150, maybe more, but again, I'm just taking it hour by hour, just monitoring my body and seeing like how I look and feel. And that's just so important during peak week, whether you do it or a coach does it, to monitor yourself because things can change by the hour. So that's just so important. I'll be vlogging as much as I can. So 
giving you more updates. Hopefully I get some videos in like during the show and post show and everything I'll be doing. So stay tuned. So this was my condition right after training shoulders and arms and doing 50 minutes of steady state cardio. Hey guys, so I just finished up my workout. I did shoulders and arms and then I did 50 minutes of cardio and that's probably going to be it for now. Um, I'm feeling like really run down and I just really need to rest and I'm about to eat. Hey guys, so I took my shower. I had a meal right after my workout. I had some chicken, asparagus and um, two rice cakes and a tablespoon of almond butter. I'm about to have, that was meal four, so now I'm gonna have meal five, and I am eat, I have it labeled. I took all these like Chinese food containers with me and I labeled them all, and I took them right on the plane and they went all through, I was so happy. I have um, some steak, chicken, and potatoes. And I'll be having another tablespoon of almond butter. So I had three tablespoons of almond butter today. I'm hitting 50 grams of fat, which is pretty awesome because I love almond butter. Like if I could eat almond butter every single meal, that would just be life. Um, but that, it was really good. So my workout was really good. I got in 15 minutes of my cardio and I'm done for this rest of my prep. No cardio tomorrow, nothing, just relaxing, laying down, and giving my body the rest it needs for the stage. I'm pretty tired, but I'm going to get some sleep. I feel really good and just excited. Like, hey guys, so I am one day out now. Uh, I got up pretty early because I'm still stuck on my time, which is like three hours ahead. So I'm like just waiting around, like I'm not really that hungry, just um laying down watching tv and taking this whole day to relax no cardio no nothing and excited to see like my coaches and my teammates around four and check in with muscle contest but um i'm feeling like really good and i'll show you guys like how i look and stuff so this is my one day out condition no tan no nothing just uh this is how i woke up felt pretty good Cars responded pretty well, and go, hitting 150 grams of carbs uh, one day out. You really don't want to get too much have too much activity the day before, and just like allow your body to rest and um, really tighten up, like for show day. So um, I will be just practicing posing and. Um, just reflecting and trying to stay positive like I said before it's just so important to like stay positive and believe in yourself so I just think it's important to get in that good mind state um, this morning I'll be having my chicken and oats again again keeping it real simple and easy and I'm basically eating chicken all day I don't have any fish left so I'm just having chicken and then my last meal will be steak and I'll be eating carbs throughout the day, so either rice cakes or potatoes. And yesterday I dipped um, my potatoes in almond butter, and it was seriously like the best thing in the entire world. So if you're having almond butter and potatoes that day, I recommend dipping the potatoes in the almond butter because it will change your life. Uh, it was like the best thing. Like I was eating dinner last night, and I was just like loving like everybody, and I took so long to eat it, but it was awesome. So yeah, that's just like a quick meal idea. Um, I will be showing you guys making my show day shape and stuff. Hey guys, so it is show day and it's Saturday, August 8th. Um, last night I had for dinner steak and potatoes with a tablespoon of almond butter and a half ounce of almonds. And I woke up like feeling pretty good. Um, I don't have any makeup on yet. Uh, it's pretty early. I couldn't sleep, but I slept, I got like a good amount of sleep. I did sleep like, um, probably like eight hours, but, um, I'm just getting excited. Uh, I'll be getting my makeup pretty soon. I'll eat my breakfast. I'll probably just have chicken and some oats. And then after that, um, just follow up with just rice cakes and stuff. And it'll be a busy day. so not really like focused on eating too much. So it'll be a fun day and I'll be sharing as much as I can with you. So this is my show day shape. This is me all glammed up. Michelle, 
Michelle did my makeup and I love the way she did it. Just feeling like really good, really tight and really anxious just to like get up on stage. It's probably like been the best prep and I feel the best in the morning. And yeah, this is this is how I woke up. <laughs> Hey guys, so I'm all glammed up. Uh, Michelle did my makeup and I'm feeling like really excited. I'm about to eat my meal too, which is potatoes and some almond butter. Then I'm just sticking a rice cake for the rest of the day. Uh, it's about almost nine o'clock and I'll be hitting the stage probably in like three hours or so. But um, just feeling like really excited and can't wait to like get up there and I'll hey guys, so I just got back from pre-judging. Um, it was like really hectic during the show to the vlog, but I did get first call outs and open and novice. In um, open, I was moved to the middle, which was like pretty exciting, but you never know what happens. So we'll see like when um, finals are over. But in between, I'm just having like some chicken and potatoes and almond butter. And then if I do get hungry, I will eat like more rice cakes. Still haven't like drank any water. Um, feeling like a little dry that way, but uh, still feel pretty good. I'm gonna lay down and hang around for like just a couple more hours. And I'm like hanging out with some how hanging out with some of my roommates, which is like really fun. I love like my Edge sisters. They're so great. And this is why, like, I come out to L.A. because to be with the team and meet always a new set of girls, like, each time. And they're, like, great family. So it's just been an exciting day and um, just can't wait for final. All right, so I'm chilling in the room with Natalie and Kate. Hey. Hi. Say hey to YouTube. Hey, guys. Hey, YouTube. Yeah, wasn't it fun? Wasn't pre judging fun? Oh, it was so it was much a fun. fun. Yeah. yeah. What are we in now? Now oh. we're having some dry oats. oats, and then we get to get on stage for chicken. finals. Hell yeah! Heck yeah! Oh yeah! Hey guys, so I just got back from my photo shoot with Nuo Studios with um, the photographer Michael, and it was such a fun experience. Sorry, I like didn't vlog the after my show. It was just like everything was happening all at once. But I just want to say like, I am so grateful for all the support I've gotten up to this point and to come or whatever. But it's really just been an awesome weekend. I've enjoyed every minute of it. And I did get my crown. I received first place in Open C class and Open Novice Class B. Um, I will be continuing on to Nationals in November, which is like pretty exciting. And I um, just had a great time last night. I didn't eat anything post-show. Just like I said, I had my chicken and asparagus. And like most people say, like, oh, that's crazy. But just like I said, you should not be um, traveling with that heavy, fatty food. You don't want to blow up excess. And I knew I was doing a photo shoot the next day. But I still didn't eat anything today. So I'm waiting until I get home tomorrow. Um, just like packing up some stuff. My roommate left me. And, but I had some fun times with some of the team match girls uh, at the shoot today and stuff. And we just like uh, laughed and I laughed last night. Last night at dinner was like amazing. And I just, I, this weekend is more than anything I could have asked for. I truly like worked my hardest this prep. I gave it 100% and you, I tried to tell you guys what I've done since the beginning of this prep until now and up until peak week and through peak week and I will be doing a reverse diet series. I will also um, be explaining for my next, how I go into my next prep for nationals and hopefully to build my carb tolerance a little more and um, get ready for that. But it's truly just been an amazing weekend. I am so thankful. I can't even say it enough. I'm just so thankful for the opportunity like to be out here, be with my team, come all this way and um, give it the best that I can every time, no matter what. Just give it the best you can do. Still rocking post show apps. Still there. And if you have any questions, again, like feel free to leave them in the comments or like and subscribe, whatever you want to do. But truly, like, thank you for all the love and support. It, it's more, it's amazing. And I'm just so incredibly happy and so incredibly thankful.